what kind of beer is it that you specialize in? Uh, German beer. And where are we right now? Fort Collins, Colorado. Hey everyone, Dana here, and today I'm hanging out with Kirk Lombardi of Zwei Brewing, a brewery here in Fort Collins, Colorado that specializes in German beer. Thank you so much for being here with me today, Kirk. My pleasure. It's uh, really cool to have you both there. It's going to be a good, good day. So my first question for you is the Zwei in Zwei Brewing. That's because you and your brother started this, is that correct? That's correct. And how long have you been here? Uh, we opened last August, um, so we'll be a year old next month. Originally, we were a Zwei Bruder, okay. uh, which is two brothers. Mm -hmm. We got into a little bit of trademark problem with <laughs> a brewery in Chicago called Two Brothers in English. So now you're at Zwei Brewing. Let's do a little tour. Okay, so what are we looking at here? All right, so over here is our brew house. Uh, it's a 10 barrel, which uh, in German terms, I think is about 12 hecto. Uh, three vessel system, mash tun, hot liquor tank, and brew kettle. And we keep it nice and dirty because we kind of like the look of that, that tarnished copper. Maybe clean it once a year or so. This system's kind of designed to make lager beer. That's, that's what we love around here, so that's what we do. It seems like right now in America, German beer is getting more popular. What do you think is the reason for that? What makes it so popular right now? Um, I don't know. It's, well, one, it's one of the untouched niches that okay. um, are out there. Uh, two, it's, just, you know, it's the subtle simplicity, uh, I guess, mm -hmm. of German beer. It's just really simple, straightforward, easy drinking, sessiony. you know. I think in the past, Americans only really got imported German beer uh -huh. and um, whenever you, that beer travels that far it gets kind of damaged. Okay, yeah. So it's, when you taste a fresh product it's a really a whole different world. Gotcha, gotcha. These tanks right here are kind of special. You don't see those too much in uh, American breweries. They're uh, horizontal lagering tanks and they're designed to help produce those lager beers so they lay on the side because it helps allow more contact with the yeast with the beer and helps that long maturation phase that lager beers need. How long does it take for the beer to go from start to finish coming out the tap? Um, good question. So it's kind of based on the strength of the beer. Okay. Uh, most of our, like our sessiony weight beers like Pilsner or Hellas are about six weeks. Okay. And then if we're getting into like Doppelbach or Mertzen or something like that, it's it can be eight to 12 weeks. Long. Okay, and as for the ingredients, are those from America, from Europe? Where do you get the ingredients from? We use entirely uh, German ingredients wow, in our okay. beer, except for the water, of course. Predominantly, we use uh, a, a company called Weyermann Malt. Okay. Um, it's in Bomber, but uh, we do use some other stuff. But um, yeah, so all the malted barley is from, from Germany. Um, our hops are contracted out of Holotower okay. region. Um, and then we use a lager strain from monastery cluster called Ondex. Oh yeah, of course, we know that. That's just a little bit out of yeah. Munich. Yeah. yeah, cool. It's a really cool place. Uh, so this is the, the malt storage area. Um, and all this came from Germany? It's all German, except for this little pile right here. Okay. It's a Canadian for <laughs> our American beers. Okay. But, uh, and what then initially got you and your brother interested in making German beer? Well, we both took a trip over to Munich and uh, Austria and mm -hmm. uh, I think we were already into making German beer before that but that was kind of the aha moment uh -huh. okay. it was, uh, we kind of both fell in love with the styles and yeah the, I guess culture and all that so it was okay. a, just a something we thought would be fun to do and you came back here and you said okay we're gonna do it we're gonna make this happen yeah we worked for another brewery for uh, about 20 years, okay. um, making all types of different beers, but mm -hmm. our, whenever we had the opportunity, we would make a, a German beer, and um, those are the beers we've won medals for and had a lot of success with. So. so I've got my cheat sheet here. I'm starting with the Helles. That's Munich-style golden lager. Tastes pretty authentic. Mm -hmm. I need my sorbet. This isn't going to be very scientific. Mmm. Okay. 
That's my favorite so far. Mr. German Man confirmed the authenticity of the Hellas and said that that one was his favorite. Thanks so much for being here with me today. It was a pleasure to have you. Thanks for showing me around. Yeah, Thank cool. you. And for the beer, of course. Thank you so much for watching. All links to Zwei Brewing down in the description below. Be sure to go and check them out. Until next time, Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. We try to keep true to the German purity, beer purity yeah, law. Yeah, this Reinheitsgebot. So yeah. what is that? And yeah. so you, you keep to it then as best we, as you can? We do. Um, so basically my understanding of it is, you know, it's water, malt, hops. Mm -hmm. um, Originally, yeast wasn't involved, but in yeast, so yeah, um, that means you can't add like CO two to the beer. Okay, like we have to use naturally carbonated beer. Mm -hmm. um, you can't add chemicals or clarifying agents to the beer. Um, it's all you know, straightforward. Yeah, very cool. Also, stuff. no blueberries in your right. beer or yeah, anything no, like that. No fruit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We we dabble in some American styles too, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, for the German stuff, we keep keep true to style. That's awesome. Very cool. Yeah.